Hi Gemini, welcome to your new love reading for January 2020. Happy New Year to you, Happy New Decade also. <laughs> uh, everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below as well as the Recommend a Reader shout out which goes to Love Yourself Worth. Check her out, show her some love and support. This is intended to be a romantic love, whoopsie, reading, but it may resonate in other areas of your life. That was the Eight of Wands, it was gonna jump. Uh, also, this could be a new development in an existing situation. All right, Gemini. What do we got here for Gemini? Gemini. King of Cups. Okay. Queen of Swords. So this could be Pisces. Uh, this could be Libra. Page of Pentacles. King of Wands, so that could be Sagittarius. Page of Swords, good gracious. Two of Pentacles, all right, let's see who you're dealing with here. Queen of Wands, so we got two queens, two pages, and two kings. Good gracious, are we talking about two families here? So things are kind of, you probably are taking some time. Um, you two are not in communication right now or you're not going to be. What's the strife? What's going on? Why is there this nah, there? What is that? So are you, are you, is one of you, are, we got friends involved here. We got um, possibly talking to someone in it, maybe like a therapeutic capacity. Huh. So are you two in separation and you've kind of gone to your separate camps? And then you're also, there, it's, there's a lot of people here. Well, there's a lot of people involved in this. Okay, all right. Gemini. All right, what's this? What's this Queen of Swords about? This could be male or female. It doesn't, the gender is... Gender's fluid here. What's this Queen of Swords about? This is Queen of Swords. Ace of Wands, all right. What's this Page of Pentacles about here? The Magician. Okay. This is King of Wands here. Seven of Wands. Wow, Gemini. Okay, so you're dealing with somebody that you, um, you, you've got interference from someone and you've started something else and this, okay, hold on a minute. What's this, whoa, what's this Page of Swords here? The Death card, all right. This is Two of Pentacles. Okay. All right. So you've got somebody that you quite possibly have started something new with online or you've been in separation. Um, if you're not in separation, you are quite possibly now because we've got, um, we've got a marriage or some kind of contractual commitment to someone that you are involved when you might be taking a break or you might've been doing something on the side, not no shade or anything, just saying we got, this is really crowded. So you've got someone that you might be in separation from because they were involved with someone else or you found someone else and you're still dealing with someone. Either way, you found somebody new, but this you kind of fallen for somebody that's not really available. So you need to be careful about that um, because this is, is just a fluke. This is not somebody that is worth much of your time, especially if it's jeopardizing a marriage, unless you're, you know, with, for your situation, it's kind of in transition on the way out and you're just looking for something very fun because that's all it's gonna be. This is not somebody that can really give you what you want. Um, this is someone that's kind of on the move. So you, and you're gonna have a person that doesn't want you to start again. You're gonna have somebody that doesn't want you to, that doesn't wanna be left behind. 
So it's like you're in the middle of a push-pull situation. You're trying to get something up off the ground. They're just a lot of fun. And you've got somebody from um, that you're currently, they don't feel like they're in your past. They feel like they're in your present that is going to be kind of making waves and being like, no, I'm not going down without, you know, you hearing what I have to say or I don't want to let this go. You know, I'm trying to win you back or we need to talk, that sort of thing. And this is about you needing to have boundaries. Um, this is actually not about you choosing either, but rather you, um, because neither situation is, sorry, I'm doing my glasses. Neither situation feels like you really want to be in it. You're kind of starting something new to get away from what you're currently in. And you don't really want to be in either. Neither one of these relationships are going to be what you want. Um, and so it, it's kind of about you cutting things off so you can think just going somewhere and being under yourself and doing your own thing and friends and socializing and, and keeping things light and moving. This is not a time for connection with anybody, not the person that's going to be interfering and not the person that you're starting something new with that really can't give you what you need. This person could be younger than you. They could be, um, just looking for a little bit of fun as you are. And then that's all that it is. So January for you, Gemini, for the Gemini's I'm reading for is not, about you connecting on any deep level with anybody. It's about you transitioning out of um, a relationship that you've been in for a while. And you're kind of, um, I think you're just wanting to kind of be able to be by yourself and make your own choices. And I think, I, I'm hoping, if not <laughs> consider what I'm saying, but I'm hoping that you're wise enough to know that this person that you've recently met or that you're going to meet, it's just going to be a physical relationship. It's not going to be anything um, serious. This person's going to be figuring out their life. You're going to be figuring out your life. Um, it, it, you could just meet them through a friend. It could just be a kind of an agreement that you have like, look, hey, we're going to, you know, connect when we need to blow off some steam or, you know, that sort of thing. But it's just, it's, it looks like you have a good perspective on it. Just don't go um, making something, make it into something that it isn't. What's this Queen of Wands about? It could be Aries, by the way. The lovers. Okay. I feel like you need to get to where you can have some time to think and do your own thing and make your own decisions and, and figure out what is best for you. And to kind of rise above the drama because you got drama from your, your person that's going to be interfering. They don't want you to leave and start anew. And you're not, the thing is, you're not looking for anything serious. You just don't want this and you don't want anything. To, but it's just really crowded because invariably it's, it just feels like it's really busy and chaotic. And you've got someone that doesn't want to let you go. And you've got someone new that really doesn't, that you're kind of all of a sudden, I think you'll find that you're kind of pursuing them more than they're really interested this is somebody that is just not going to be all that forthcoming and you're going to find that you're working really hard to pursue something that you don't really want. So your job is to keep things light and to keep things moving for the month of January because you, this is about you getting yourself um, removed from situations that are just not what you really want and being able to kind of take a break and breathe and don't let yourself find yourself pursuing something hardcore just to get yourself some distance from the other situation because you'd be barreling down towards something that's not going to give you what you want anyway. So make sure that you are continually uh, sitting in a kingly position where you're deciding what you want to do, not based on emotion, trying to figure out your emotions. But if you're going to do stuff, have that perspective like, okay, I'm going to do this for now, but I don't want I, I'm not ready for any kind of emotional investment. So I need to know that about myself going in. I'm not going to just try to jump out of one situation and, and distract myself with something else only to end up getting myself in hot water again. You know what I mean? Just you do you make sure you have that perspective though, that you're, you're kind of keeping yourself busy and sorting out your feelings in the background. Nothing wrong with that. What else for Gemini? What else for Gemini? This is like a really, it just feels like it's, it's a busy month for you because you're going to be realizing some things. You're going to be moving away from the past. They don't want you to move. And then you're going to be 
kind of moving towards something just to move away from something, but then you're going to realize you don't want that either. And it's, there's going to be like some adjusting and there's going to be, and you just ultimately this should serve to get you into a place where you can figure out your own emotions and be making choices that are best for you. And I don't like that your person is not really letting you go. I feel like they're kind of being demanding and like, well, wait, you have to hear me out. You have to listen to me. And you're like, no, I don't. I do it again and you won't hear from me. You'll hear from my lawyer. No is a complete sentence. Back off. I mean, it might come to, I, it might come to that. So because you don't want to be in it anymore. For the Geminis that I'm reading for, you don't want to be there. Um, and you don't want this new thing that you're going to potentially step into either beyond a certain point. I mean, you might want, but not beyond a certain point. Don't let the fact that you don't want this push you into developing this over here more because you don't want that either. What you really want is to be able to make your own decisions and time for yourself to think about things. Your person that you're transitioning out of, it could still be amicable, but they're kind of ruining it. So they just aren't ready to accept no yet, honestly. What else for Gemini? And there it is. There's a seven of swords. That's you having to be strategic. So yeah, this is, you're just needing to... It doesn't feel like there's anything unsafe here. It just feels like you're going to constantly be like having to kind of go, wait a second, da, 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 da. you know what I mean? And I just, I feel like somebody is kind of overstepping just because they think they should still have certain access to you. And you're like, no, my feelings have changed. Like I don't feel the same anymore. And that your person that you're transitioning out of for the Gemini's I'm reading for, they're having a really hard time accepting that. I think, honestly, the person that you might be starting this up with online might be involved with somebody else too. So it's a very, it's kind of like really crowded and busy. You're transitioning out of someone and then you might find out or you might be heading towards someone who actually is not really forthcoming about telling you they're involved with someone if not married. So just be careful. Just, you need to have your wits about you. You need to be making decisions based on what is best for you and keeping your emotions out of it because you're trying to figure out your emotions, not compound them. Trying to rise above the fray, not kind of jump into it wholeheartedly and, and make it bigger. You know what I mean? What else for Gemini? What else for Gemini? Think on your feet. Yes. <laughs> Have your wits about you. Mm -hmm. This is about you needing to um, be strategic and rise above and stay above and make decisions based on your best interest, keeping low drama. Like I'm not going to engage in drama. I won't do it. And I think especially with your person that you're transitioning away from, they need to know that, that, you know, no more drama. I, this, if that happens, this will be the last conversation we have. I won't engage. I won't do it. We're not going to escalate. We're not going to take this. We're not going to get dizzy with this because I have no interest in Anything other than just resolution at this point. All right. Mass for Gemini. Gemini. Mass for Gemini. Okay, so we, we, here it is. We got the Ten of Cups reversed. So we got a relationship that has ended or is ending that you need distance and separation from so that you can have your wits about you and think. And maybe that's why this person keeps wanting to kind of, you know, let me win you back. Let me try because they don't want you to mobilize. They don't want you to finally get to a place where you can think and figure out what your next move is. They want to keep you kind of chaotic and, and, you know, messy and spinning around and having to defend because that's when you're at your weakest or in their mind. So no, <laughs> um, so we've got a broken um, relationship, an uh, ended relationship that uh, is somebody is not allowing it to end. Someone doesn't want to let go. 
So uh, it looks like it's your person that you're transitioning out of and away from, and they're just not willing to let go yet. So this is about you just, you know, keeping those boundaries really clear and getting yourself in a position where you have time to think. And you can do what you want. I mean, but just be careful that if you've started up something new with somebody, they very they could be not telling you everything and they could be involved and cheating. You could be somebody on the side for them. They could even be married. So just, just you know, just be aware and, and know going in that you need to keep the focus on yourself and your best interest. And if something doesn't feel right to you, then you don't have to engage or participate, new or old. This is about you rising above, above, above and having time to think for yourself. Okay. All right, Gemini. Uh, I hope this was helpful. It's busy for you, but it's because other people are keeping it busy and, and it's like you're trying to navigate through it. So um, I hope you find time to be around friends and family and your tribe because I feel like you're just in the romance de romance department. You've got somebody not wanting you to leave that's going to be quite pursuant that you're going to have to be firm with. And you've got somebody else that initially it's like great, but then I think you're going to find that they're not available and you don't really want them anyway. You just kind of wanted the distraction. So if you know that going in, um, be much easier for you to make a choice. All right. Oh, this is the hangman reverse, by the way. That could be Pisces. So we got Pisces, Pisces, Gemini, Taurus, Libra, Aries, Libra, and Sagittarius. Could be any of those. Doesn't have to be male or female. All right. I hope this was helpful, Gemini. Um, very busy month for you, huh? Hope to see you in the next reading. Good luck to you. And uh, thank you for stopping by. Take care.